So if you've seen my videos and visited my channel before, you've probably seen me play a fair amount of vintage guitars, as well as guitars in the two to $3,000 range and even beyond. You know, but from time to time, I like to check out guitars that are inexpensive or under $1,000. And not only for my own interests, but some of you are really interested in those guitars as well. And we've talked about a few of them on the channel, and I just like to see what's out there and what's the best bang for the buck. So about a year ago from the time of this video, I purchased a Sire S7, which is the HSS model. I never had an HSS Strat and I was like, what the heck, I'll give it a shot for you know less than 700 bucks because I like Larry Carlton, I like Marcus Miller, they're partners in this company, so I wanted to give it a shot. The actual video I did for this guitar was one of the more popular ones on my channel. It got a lot of views, so it made me think, well, maybe I'm not the only one interested in this kind of guitar at that price range. The guitar has since hung around and been in other videos and on some sessions too. So I got asked by a viewer if I'd ever tried the T7, which is obviously their Tele style offering. I can't fulfill all the requests I get for videos, but this one was special because this gentleman's last name is Congelio also. That's right, my dad was interested in this guitar, so I figured I'd get one, run it through the paces, and ship it to him after I shot the video. So I don't have a relationship with Sire or Larry Carlton or Marcus Miller. I got this guitar because I'm genuinely interested and you know, I wanted to do something cool for my dad. And I got this guitar, pulled it out of the box and noticed immediately it was similar to the S7 with the rolled fret edges, the roasted maple neck, the locking tuners, it's got the string through body, and it's got the brass compensated saddles. Uh, the neck shape is really up my alley, a nice sort of soft C type of shape. Um, I always like a chunky neck. It could be bigger for me, but it's, I think, a really solid down the middle type neck shape. And the pickups sound really good too. These guitars actually sell out really quickly online, and I had to get on a waiting list at Sweetwater to get one. And while I did that, they said, hey, we'll send it to you as soon as it's ready, but we also wanna sponsor this video that you're gonna do also. So thanks to Sweetwater for sponsoring the video and getting this out to me so quickly. And there you go, no boring ad copy that I have to read like a podcast. Let's hear this guitar some more. First thing that actually came to my mind when I played this guitar is why can't Fender do this or why isn't Fender doing this? The closest thing they can get to this guitar is the player Telecaster that doesn't have the rolled fret edges, doesn't have the roasted maple neck or the compensated brass saddles and that guitar is about $7.99 where this comes in at $6.41 before a case. They do make the Squire Classic Vibe Tele which people really enjoy those guitars but I don't think it's in the league of the sire. So if there's a few things I don't love about this guitar, well, they'd be the same as what I said in the video a while ago on the S7. The glossy fretboard I don't love, it could probably use a treble bleed on the volume control, and it doesn't ship with a case, it just comes in a box, so be prepared for that. <laughs> So that's just the neck pickup. And when I decided to demo this guitar, I said, you know, some of you are gonna say, well, you're playing it through a $5,000 two rock. Well, I did that in the, you know, performance clips you saw. That, my Greer Lightspeed Overdrive, that's pretty much all I used. But I said, let's plug a $700 or less guitar into an amp modeler. So I'm using the Pod Express here. Just a little bit of breakup on, you know, a Fender-ish type of clean sound. Sounds really good. <laughs> I'm pretty anti-amp modeler overall, just for me personally, but 
that one actually sounds really good. Uh, pretty surprised. And the guitar sounds good with it too. <laughs> Pretty touch responsive too from the Pod XT, or Pod Express it is. The XT, that was an old thing, right? The middle position has all the tele qualities you'd imagine. And the bridge position has all of the twang and snap you'd expect from a telly. So yeah, I'm impressed for $641, solid guitar. I hope my dad enjoys it. I'm excited to hear what he thinks when I ship it to him. If you dug the video, hit the thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to the channel as well. Don't forget there's a free track in the comments and or the description, whatever one you click on. Uh, what else? Yeah, go check out more Sire stuff. I got links in the comments and description as well. And uh, I'm off to play. I'll see you next time.